We have one church on one corner. Across the street on the other corner, there's another church. Beside that, there's another church. The next block over, there's another church on a different corner. This is ludicrous. This is absurd. Jesus prayed very clearly in John chapter 17 that his church be one. But you know, the real church isn't social groups with the word church on a sign out front. The, wor the real church is not a building. Actually, the, the word church in the original manuscripts, ecclesia, which means the called out ones. The real church are the called out ones. The people who have been called out from the world. People who live in such a way that they're, they're set apart. They're separate from the ways of the world. They don't live like the, the world lives. They don't talk like the world talks. They don't think the way the world thinks. They don't sin like the world sins. They are holy. That's the real church. When Paul wrote his letters, it was to the, the church, to the church in Ephesus, to the church in Galatia, not to the Baptist church, to the Pentecostal church, to the Methodist, and on and on it goes. They say now there are over 40,000 denominations. It is absurd. Church, the real church, are the people who are called out by God to live in a way that's holy, to, to live in faith and holiness. It says in the scriptures, there is one church, one Lord, and one baptism, one God and Father of all. Not 40 different thousand and some odd denominations. That's the way it's supposed to be. One church. Not this denomination over here and that denomination over there and this church over here and that other church over here. Dividing it up like that. If you are part of a church like that and you've grown up in that church or that's all you know, then you need to realize that you are part of a social club that has excluded itself from the rest of the church. It, it is a social club that has locked itself in. You don't listen or you don't go to other churches. You don't associate with other churches. You don't go and sit under the teaching of another pastor because you have locked yourself in. You have locked God out. Denominations are not of God. We are coming full circle. In the book of Acts, the church went to synagogue and then they met from house to house during the week. The church was the people. Where did they meet? From house to house. And they went to the synagogue on the Sabbath, uh, beyond Saturday. They didn't have church buildings. They didn't have steeples. They didn't have hymn books. They didn't have Bibles like we have today. They didn't go to a place with the sign out front that says church and sing a few hymns and sing a few hers and shake a few hands and say good, good sermon there, pastor, and forget all about it a few, a few hours later. And by the way, when Paul wrote to the church in Rome or to the church in Ephesus, he didn't write to the pastor. They were just brothers. They were all one. They were all on one level. They didn't set up a pastor, a shepherd. See, the word pastor means shepherd. We only have one shepherd, and that is Jesus.